If you saw my January makes video, then you got a glimpse of my Valentine's Day dress. And today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about it, including the mistakes and what I would do differently next time. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. I knew I was going to color block a dress with red, pink, and burgundy. I had a couple of inspiration photos and thought that the Kate Spade one with just the bottom band was a little too easy. I was ready for a challenge. So I decided to draft my own color blocked sections. I started with Simplicity 8213. It is a pattern that's super basic, so it was going to be easy to manipulate. Next, I had to decide how I wanted to cut out the colors. I did a little bit of drawing, but realized after this that it mattered more which color should be closest to my face. So I immediately eliminated the versions with pink on top. So I was choosing between red and burgundy. To help with this, I draped them on my dress form to see which one visually looked better. Isn't it amazing how different they look just by swapping those two colors? I thought the red one on top looked better on the dress form, and since it was Valentine's Day, I decided that that was the way to go. Okay, I'm not going to show you guys how to draft this just yet because I actually didn't get it right. It was my first time ever doing something like this, and honestly, I'm surprised I got it as close as I did but there are a couple of places where I went wrong. You can see in these photos that the burgundy seam does not line up across the waistband. It's off by exactly five eighths of an inch, so something went wrong with one of the seam allowances. I'm pretty sure it's the small section on the top of the skirt. Can you see how that is bubbling at the curved seam? I think that I didn't properly add seam allowances to the burgundy part, so it's not fitting into the red part correctly. The other thing I didn't consider when I was drafting was the shape of the bodice. Obviously your body, specifically your bust, is not flat like a piece of paper. So even though the swoop over the breast looked good on paper, when I actually put it on, it looks a little flat. For reference, here's how I'd draw the bodice swoop next time. Can you see how much more flattering that is when it goes up and over the breast? Then when it comes to the sleeve, I really wanted the swoop to continue smoothly around the arm, but again, didn't consider that the arm is a cylinder and the inner part of your arm can't really be seen. So to fix this, I'd have to consider those couple of inches on the arm inseam that are never really seen and only think of it as the side, top, and back side of your arm only. And then the back. So after I sewed this, I ended up having to take out a whopping four inches from the back. The side seams were in the right place, but there was so much extra room in the back. It's definitely not me. There was something up with the pattern for sure. When I took that adjustment, obviously, the swoop in the back didn't carry over. I chopped out most of it. So uh, it isn't like a smooth line. So if you're not going to wing it like I did, make sure you muslin the garment before doing any drafting. You can insert the face palm emoji here. But I promise as soon as I get all of these things sorted, I'll show you how to draft something like this for yourself. It's way easier than I'm making it sound, I promise. Like I said, this was just my first time and I was kind of just wrapping my head around these concepts with this version. But now that I have like a better idea of how everything works together, it's going to be a breeze. Okay, so this is how I fixed what I was going to fix. For the front, I just brought the bodice and skirt together at the waist seam until those two swoopy lines met up. I ended up losing about two inches of length and the waist seam does not sit at my true waist anymore. It's like kind of somewhere in between an empire waist and my waist seam. But it was more important to me to have this swoop look smooth than for it to have the length or for it to be sitting at my waist properly. I just thought the swoop being smooth would be more noticeable than the other two things. 
And because I shortened it so much, I didn't have really any wiggle room to hem it. Ponty will never unravel, so that's not a huge deal, but I couldn't really afford to lose any more length and a baby hem on Ponty is worse than no hem at all, in my opinion. I know it seems like I'm trashing this make, I know it does, but I really do still love it and I will wear it proudly. I think most of the things that are wrong, quote unquote wrong with this dress, are only things that I'm going to notice or someone else who sews will notice. But when wearing it, the dress feels very flirty and super fun to wear and you just kind of see people light up whenever you wear something this bright and colorful. It's actually kind of fun. I, of course, will wear it for Valentine's Day, but beyond that, I know I can throw on a denim jacket and rock it all spring long. I just wanted to point out all the ways that drafting like this can go wrong for you guys, especially if you don't really know what you're doing like me, but I'm not going to quit here. I'm going to do it again, fixing all these issues, and I will have the most perfect color blocked dress ever. All I need to decide now is what other color combo I should do. What about a fall dress? Uh, burgundy, orange, and navy? How does that sound? Leave your favorite three colors in the comments so that I can start putting together some options. But that's going to do it for me today. I want to wrap up this video by telling you guys that you are all the best valentines a girl could ask for and i hope you know how much you mean to me i love you all so much okay gonna go